easily grows. So these are the main advantages of uh, broaching machine. And limitations of broaching machine, all the disadvantages of broaching machine, the main is uh, first point, important point, not suitable for large stock removal. Very small amount of material removal. Large stock material means, uh, removal means, it is a very small amount of material removed from the workpiece but uh, not suitable for large stock removal. Second drawback is large sized workpiece cannot to be broached. Bigger size, large size means that is a bigger size workpiece cannot to be broached, um, broached in this machine. And uh, economical only for mass production application. This process is one or two pieces which is a, it is not feasible. So mass production, this process is uh, uh, economically only for the mass production application. And fourth important point, uh, parts to be broached must be strong enough to withstand the force during the cutting. And the next point, uh, surface to be broached must be assembled, hence the process is suitable for only for uh, through poles and surfaces, this process. And uh, last disadvantage is uh, the tool cost is high, the broaching tool cost is high. This process is uh, typically used in a mass production and other application where the tool cost can be justified. The mass production, this process is suitable for mass production, then justified. So these are the main uh, advantages and disadvantages of uh, broaching machine. So next you can go for the uh, classification of broaching and what are the different types of uh, broaching machine. So first important point with respect to the type of operation So or method of operation. So method of operation, so first one is external and internal with respect to the type of operation or different type of uh, methods uh, of operations, internal and external or uh, push type broaching machine, pull type broaching machine, surface broaching machine and continuous broaching machine. Okay, these are the different operations and with respect to the method of operation. Method of operation you can go for a push type and pull type. Push type and pull type. With re respect to the construction, solid and built up. And fourth point with respect to the function, surface, keyways, and round holes. And one more point is the uh, type of drives mechanical broaching machine, hydraulic drive means their movement. So, mechanical broaching machine, hydraulic broaching machine, or electro mechanical broaching machine. And the direction of the broach travelled in horizontal and vertical. Direct direction of the broach travel. Next point. Direction of the broach travel in the horizontal and vertical. And next point is uh, application of the broaching, internal broaching machine, and uh, external broaching machine. This is the application. Broaching is a hole of a different profile, and external broaching machine surface broaching. So this is the classification of uh, broaching machine. So you can take this the horizontal broaching machine, you can see this figure, the important force of horizontal broaching machine is motor, ram and hydraulic and uh, draw head and slide and workpiece and broach and uh, follow rest. So in horizontal broaching machine, the broaching tool is reciprocated in horizontal. The reciprocating, the broaching tool is reciprocated in a horizontal direction relative to the workpiece, this is very important. In horizontal broaching machine, in the broaching tool is reciprocated in a horizontal direction relative to the workpiece. Second important point, uh, nearly the horizontal machine or uh, pull type, there are two important types, pull type and push type. The horizontal broaching machine, it is a pull type of broaching machine. They are preliminary used for internal broaching. Although external broaching works is also possible in case of horizontal broaching machine. The machine primarily consists of a base little more than the twice, the length of the broach, stroke, work holder, pulling head, hydraulic driving mechanism for the pulling the broach and uh, uh, last point is predetermined the speed. So in operation, how it is works, in operation the workpiece is clamped in the work holder first. The work piece is clamped in the work loader while the broaching tool held rigidly in the pulling head is pulled against the work piece, resulting in 
metal removal to the place. So next point, very long strokes up to 120 inches. Very long stroke into 120 inches are available with the type of machine. The main drawbacks or disadvantages is the larger core space required for this machine. The area will be larger core space is required for the machine. Horizontal mold brushing machines are widely used in automobile industries. Horizontal brushing machine widely used in automobile industry to cut surface on a large to cut a surface on a large parts such as uh, cast engine blocks, cylinder heads, manifolds, and bearing cluster. Also, also slots, round holes and other internal shape can be efficiently machined with this uh, type of machine. Next, we'll go for the next slide. So the principle of the brooch, so I'll explain. And the brooching is speed straight of the metal to cut the sort of a several successive layers with the help of brooch. The second point, the thickness of the each layer is the same, is called a feed per tooth and sum of the thickness of the of all the layers is called a depth of cut. So you can see these two figures A and B. Next go for the next slide. The vertical approaching machine. So you can see this figure. So this is the base, support and box column. So this is the approaching tool and a sliding member. This is the guideways. Guideways in which the in vertical column guideways is provided the, on that guideways the brooch tool is moving up and down. This is a work table, so, so this is a support to the work table, support, this is a workplace. So in vertical broaching machine, the broaching tool is reciprocated in a vertical direction. The tool movement in a vertical direction, moving up and down. The machine was designed uh, primarily to overcome the disadvantages of the horizontal broaching machine, which occupied much uh, core space, broaching machine, uh, which occupied much core space. Vertical broaching machine is used to external surface broaching, although internal broaching is possible in this machine. So in a vertical broaching machine, important point, first one, it consists of a box shape column. It consists of a box shape column, this one. Okay. That house in a electric drive with unit of a hydraulic drive. Second point, the broaching tool is mounted on the slide which is hydraulically driven and accurately guided on the column ways moving up and down. Clear this point. The slide has a rapid, a rapid return stroke. The work table is mounted on the base of front of the column. Uh, third point, the work piece is machined as clamped to work table is fixture while the brooch driven by hydraulic means travel downwards must mean the work piece. In some machines, the brooch remains stationary while the workpiece moves past the tool. Vertical broaching, next point, the vertical broaching machine occupies a less space area as compared to horizontal broaching machine and more rigid as the ram is supported by the base. This base is there. However, the vertical height of the machine poses the problem in, close, in the shop floor. In case of required higher ceiling of the shop floor, which is fit at the foundation, the machine blow of the floor level. That helps the operator to work at a factory floor level. This is a, about the vertical broaching machine. And go for the continuous broaching machine. You can see this is a very important thing. There are two wheels. This is a belt and broach holder. This is a broaching tool. So these are the work piece. This is the output. After broaching, it will come to the unloaded. So before is you can unload it here, loaded manually or automatically loaded on the belt, and work order pictures and work piece. This is a broach, broach tool, broaching, unloaded, and there are two wheels, rockets. So this is a linked chain, and this is guiding member. This is a guiding member. So in continuous uh, surface broaching machine or uh, manufactured in a both horizontal as well as vertical line both horizontal as well as vertical type. So the detailed study, this is a horizontal type. This figure shows that the horizontal brushing machine. In this machine, consists of 
two sprockets, one and two, two sprockets, mounted in a box shaped base. This is a box shaped base mounted on a box shaped base. This box shaped base is mounted on the ground. One sprocket on each side of the machine, on which the endless chain travel continuously, in which endless linked chain traveled continuously. Okay. The virtual the brooch is uh, fixed horizontally. The brooch is fixed in horizontally. This is the board with the help of a broaching holder. Okay. The brooch is fixed in horizontal. Uh, next uh, above the chain, under the bracket mounted on the base, under the bracket guide member, under the bracket mounted uh, on the base. Pictures for holding the workpiece are mounted on the regular interval on the chain. Regular interval gap will be provided. Some small gap is provided, one work piece to the other work piece. Small gap is provided. Okay. So next point is uh, next point is uh, a rigid guiding member is arranged under the chain. Uh, the zone which is the work piece passes under the brooch and provides the horizontal motion of the chain so that surface amount of the stock is removed from the workpiece. Simple mechanism. It is very simple mechanism. Uh, in operation, workpieces are loaded into the fixtures. Uh, station, suppose you can take A, where they are uh, clamped either manually or automatically. Okay. Next uh, part is uh, the workpiece on the traveling chain passes between the brooch and guiding plate. The excess metal is removed from the workpiece and then uh, finished pieces unloaded or rejected unloaded suppose it is uh, within tolerance limit it is a uh, unloaded suppose it is a without uh, so if, if it is a uh, any drawbacks or any uh, this one uh, drawbacks is there in the component then uh, and rejected at the station b unloading and reloading take place continuously without any break and hence this type of uh, uh, machine is suitable for uh, mass production application continuously you can unload it so this type of continuous surface broaching machine is suitable for only the mass production. So next you can go for the same thing as another figure, continuous broaching machine. You can see this is a continuously broach here, continuous broaching machine, horizontal type and rotary type. This is a rotary type, rotating at 360 degree, horizontal. This one is a chain is sprockets and chain is the continuous broaching machine, horizontal continuous broaching machine. You can go for the classification of the broaching machine already you have studied. So this is a horizontal ladder. So you can see this is a broaching operation, external broaching and internal broaching. So as you can see this is a external broaching, you can see the work piece and top surface of the material in very small amount of material, 50 mm, you can reduce to the 48 mm, 2 mm material removed remove from the work piece at the top surface. This is the external broaching system. So internal broaching system, very small amount of material removed from the internal broaching with the help of uh, multi-point cutting tool, it is called as a broach. So you can internal broaching machine, example these two, external broaching machine and this one is a internal broaching machine, it shows that. So next class for this one, second broaching operation. So the broaching operation is a the, the push type. So the tool is moving from uh, uh, right to left at that time to remove the material. So here full type, uh, this is a material removed from the moving at the full type to remove from the workpiece. Push type and full type. There are two important types of broaching machines. So next you can go for the, with respect to the construction. With respect to the construction, you can go for the solid and uh, this one. So you can reach the photo, see you can see that. So this is the broaching tools, one, two, three, this one, okay. So different types of figures in there. So next you can go for the built up or uh, inserted tools. Built up or inserted tool, inserts, inserts are tool. This is a brooch body. The inserts are posted to the tight place by the mechanical means by brace. So this is the inserts. Next you can go for the classification of uh, with respect to the function. First one, surface broaching, surface broaching, 
and a keyway protein. So this is a keyway. This is what piece with the keyway. You can see this bigger. This is a keyway. It's provided. And the surface work piece, top surface of the work piece, you can remove, but a very small amount of quantity is removed. It is called a surface bridge and a keyway place with the keyway, work piece with keyway. And last point, round, round rolls, you can see the figure clearly. You can move for the different types of tools, different types of tools used in the factory broaching tools. It is a multi point cutting tool to cut the material. And uh, so specification of the broaching machine, last point. Specification of the broaching machine, important uh, specifications. Uh, type of motion, it is whether it is moving at vertical or horizontal, that is also important. And uh, rated of the pulling force, how much force will be uh, acting on the workpiece, that is rated of the pulling force. And uh, length of the 20 inch in horizontal, I already explained. So length of the sliding stroke, and uh, cutting stroke, and return stroke speed, how much and maximum growth, growth diameter, maximum size and uh, floor area space is required for vertical and horizontal machine horizontal milling machine is, uh, or broaching machine is, uh, floor area is required more as compared to vertical um, broaching machine and capacity of the motor so capacity of the motor so these are the uh, seven, uh, seven points uh, specification of the broaching machine